हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट अस्सलाम वालेकुम आई एम गुलाम शबीर खासकेली असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन जोलॉजी इन गवर्नमेंट बॉयज डिग्री कॉलेज शहदादपुर टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन इट्स नेम इज गैसेस एक्सचेंज बट वी आर टेकिंग द पार्ट ऑफ जोलॉजी डिस्कसिंग द गैसेस एक्सचेंज इन एनिमल्स यू नो वाट गैसेस आर एक्सचेंज फर्स्ट वी शुड नो वाट गैसेज आर एक्सचेंज वन ऑक्सीजन एंड अदर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड हाउ दे आर एक्सचेंज एंड वाई दे आर एक्सचेंज दे आर एक्सचेंज थ्रू अ प्रोसेस ऑफ डिफ्यूजन ऑक्सीजन इज टेकन बाय द एनिमल्स एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज गिवन आउट बाय द एनिमल्स वाई ऑक्सीजन इज टेकन बाय द एनिमल्स बिकॉज ऑक्सीजन इज एसेंशियल फॉर द मेटाबोलिक प्रोसेस दैट इज एनर्जेटिक प्रोसेस कॉल्ड रेस्पायरेशन वी ऑलरेडी नो रेस्पायरेशन इज एनर्जी रिलीजिंग प्रोसेस विच प्रोड्यूस एनर्जी इन फॉर्म ऑफ ए टी पी इट्स ऑल्सो कॉल्ड रिडॉक्स प्रोसेस बिकॉज ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन एक्स प्लेस इन दिस प्रोसेस ऑक्सीजन इज नेसेसरी फॉर द बर्निंग ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक फूड इन द सेल्स दैट्स वाई वी टेक इन ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम अवर एनवायरमेंट एंड मीन वाइल in the cells the carbon dioxide is produced it's a poisonous it's a dangerous if it is accumulating in the cells it can cause the death of the humans or animals so oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged how oxygen is taken in from environment and carbon dioxide is given out into environment now we should discuss that what are the properties of respiratory surface and what are the respiratory media you know that where the gases are exchanged one of the pr- properties that it should allow or permit the gases efficiently that is permeability and other property that the respiratory surface should be moist or wet so that gases can exchange efficiently through process of diffusion other is that respiratory surface should be larger in relation to the volume of animal body other thing is that respiratory medium should be moist or wet so these are the basic properties which allow efficient gases exchange in the animals other thing we should know that what are, what are the media means where uh, animals uh, uh, exchange these gases what are the what are their environment there are major two environments one environment is aquatic other is terrestrial for the animals we already know that in terrestrial environment the major portion for gases exchange is air you know air contains 21% of oxygen if we see the composition of atmosphere we should we will know that there is 21% of oxygen concentration in atmosphere but if we take the same volume of water we will find only 5% of uh, oxygen dissolved in water so it means the best medium for the gases exchange is not aquatic environment but it's a air or atmosphere what is the reason reason is that 
water is denser than the air so due to density of water our water is more saturated that's why there is a lesser concentration of oxygen in the water so we studied the gases exchange in animals what gases are exchanged that is oxygen and carbon dioxide and what is the meaning of gases exchange means taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide with environment why we take in oxygen for the purpose of respiration respiration means energy releasing process if there is a energy in cells in form of atp the cells our specialized cells can perform their related activities such as growth movement etc so they need atp and atp is uh, produced through the process of respiration and respiration uses oxygen so that's why oxygen is essential for we people and for other animals and we discuss the properties respire of the respiratory surfaces that it should be permeable it should be uh, larger with a larger surface in it relation to the volume thin. of animal body and it should be wet and uh, uh, next we are discussing hydra gases exchange in hydra already we know that hydra is the simplest animal it's a aquatic animal lives in water it's a diploblastic it has diploblastic level of organization and uh, uh, it has no well developed organ system if we see hydra body wall is composed of two two layers one outer ectoderm called epidermis and other inner called endoderm these are the ectodermal cells and these are the endodermal cells and we have already discussed the digestive cavity of hydra that is called gastrovascular cavity that is called gastro vascular cavity ectodermal cells are in very close contact with oxygen so oxygen molecules dissolved in water directly diffuse into the ectodermal cells whereas the endodermal cells how they did how they uh, receive uh, oxygen water that enters in the filling to the gastrovascular cavity the oxygen dissolved in that water that oxygen is directly diffused into the endodermal cells so means from outside water surrounding water oxygen is diffused directly into the ectodermal cells because they are very close in close contact with the external medium water and endodermal cells are in close contact with the water which is filled in a gastrovascular cavity so endodermal cells take oxygen in from gastrovascular cavity and ectodermal cells from outside uh, external surrounding water carbon dioxide in the same way ectodermal cells diffuse out into the surrounding water and endodermal cells diffuse it they diffuse carbon dioxide out into the gastrovascular cavity where from along with undigested food material and other nitrogenous wastes carbon dioxide is also eliminated through this exterior opening now gases exchange in earthworm i have drawn a figure of earthworm earthworm is a complex animal body it's a triploblastic actually it has well developed organs but yet no specialized 
respiratory organs only its entire skin surface is used for gases exchange you know this earthworm lives in a moist places in the burrows in the burrows of moist places so because it has no exoskeleton it cannot live on dry places dry environment it would be de uh, desiccated so it makes its burrows inside the moist soil now we know that there are microscopic soil pores through which the oxygen passes to the burrows means from atmosphere atmospheric oxygen just passing through these microscopic soil pores up to the burrows of the earthworms when oxygen reaches its burrows now what happens that earthworm has some uh, goblet cells in its uh, skin goblet cell in its uh, skin these are the goblet uh, cells in the skin they secret a mucus which trap the moisture in the burrows which trap the moisture in a burrows and also water coated uh, soil particles so that it, its skin should remain uh, wet or moist that is one of the property of respiratory surface we have already discussed and its skin is devoid of exoskeleton it's a very thin it's a another property of the respiratory surface present in earthworm now you see that when oxygen reaches to the skin surface the that is uh, diffused into the skin cells diffused into the skin cells like this oxygen diffused into the skin cells it's not up to the skin cells but uh, this uh, earthworm uh, has a well developed uh, circulatory system and it's uh, it has uh, it contains a blood and it's a red blood because it contains a hemoglobin as a respiratory pigment which help to transport oxygen to the deepest cells of its body so it's not only that skin cells uh, absorb this oxygen but after that it uh, binds with hemoglobin but hemoglobin we know that in earthworm hemoglobin is not found in rbcs it is found dissolved in the plasma so as the blood circulating throughout the body uh, uh, parts so this oxygen is transported uh, up to the cells where from it is uh, diffused uh, out uh, into the uh, tissue spaces and uh, dissolved in the uh, tissue fluid where from it is uh, exchanged between the cells and the tissue fluid so the oxygen uh, in this way reaches up to the every cells meanwhile as a result of respiration the carbon dioxide is produced uh, is also uh, circulating through the skin surface uh, through uh, by means of a blood circulatory system so from skin the carbon dioxide is diffused out oxygen enters into the skin cells then uh, transported uh, with the help of hemoglobin to all cells of the uh, body of the earthworm and meanwhile carbon dioxide when reaches uh, to the skin surface through the blood circulatory system is diffused out if you uh, view out uh, this skin you will have these parts now this is the cuticle as a external covering cuticle uh, over the skin and the outermost uh, layer of its body is uh, consisting of epidermal cells like these are the epidermal cells and in this skin also possesses some modified cells called goblet cells i have shown here these are goblet cells which secret a mucus which help to trap or absorb the moisture in its uh, moist burrows so uh, afterwards the oxygen 
these are the capillaries. These are the capillaries in the body wall. As this layer of body wall is consisting of uh, circular muscles. We already know that body wall of earthworm consisting of circular muscles and uh, uh, longitudinal muscles. The outer uh, layer is consisting of circular muscles. So, uh, after the epidermal cells, uh, the oxygen uh, enters into the blood through this capillary network and uh, transported throughout the body. Now, we turn to cockroach. Gases exchange in cockroach. You know that cockroach is a complex animal. Its body is very complex. It's a, uh, uh, it is an insect. It belongs to insecta, phylum arthropoda, and it's a triploblastic one, and uh, it's a terrestrial. So, if you will see the well-developed system, respiratory system in cockroach is present. Now you see that cockroach, before discussing its respiratory system, we should know one point that the cockroach uh, is cockroach body is divisible into three tegments: one uh, anterior most head, and uh, uh, next is uh, thorax, and the last uh, is abdomen. So there are three tegments uh, in the body of a cockroach. Why we have discussed these three parts? Because it's important uh, from a uh, respiratory system point of view. How? That you see that head region is not involved uh, like other animals. It's not involved uh, in uh, uh, gases exchange or for breathing purpose or for taking uh, oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. Rather, its uh, uh, system is different. It's, uh, uh, it has uh, some exterior opening on uh, uh, both its lateral sides. These external openings uh, uh, are known as uh, uh, spiracles. You know the spiracles are just slit like uh, uh, pores or apertures and uh, they, are, uh, uh, they are under the control uh, of some walls. Walls are under the control of some uh, muscles. So muscles control the walls for their opening and uh, uh, closing of uh, uh, spiracles. One thing is another, one another thing is that uh, its uh, uh, thorax part has uh, uh, two pairs of uh, these spiracles and its uh, uh, abdominal portion uh, has uh, uh, eight pairs of uh, uh, spiracles. Total uh, the pairs of uh, external or exterior openings uh, uh, in the thorax and uh, uh, abdomen of the cockroach are uh, ten pairs of uh, uh, spiracles through which uh, uh, oxygen enters. These are the pores through which uh, uh, oxygen from the atmosphere or from the air enters. Suppose these are the pores, oxygen enters into these uh, spiracles uh, openings. So, uh, if you see the 10 pairs of spiracles are present, but if we uh, zoom out one of the spiracle and see that where it goes and what it becomes uh, uh, next. So see the spiracle opening is like this and this spiracle opens into a tube like a structure that is tracheal tube. It means that uh, uh, cockroach or other insects have a tracheal uh, respiratory system. Tracheal means consisting of a trachea. Trachea simply means wind pipes, air pipes through which air uh, goes. So now you see that uh, these, uh, this opening spiracles opens into the uh, tracheal tube. Now oxygen, uh, uh, I have shown here that oxygen enters through this opening uh, into the tracheal tube. And tracheal tube inside the body uh, divides or uh, ramifies, divides or uh, ramifies uh, into uh, fine uh, canals. These fine canals are known as tracheals. These fine canals are known as tracheals. But we see here that the, these fine uh, uh, canals are tracheals and blindly and blindly and they have also uh, fluid uh, filled. They are also fluid filled. They, uh, the fluid is withdrawn in the uh, terminal part of the 
ट्रैक्यूल्स सो दैट इजीली द ऑक्सीजन कैन डिफ्यूज इन टू द बॉडी सेल्स आर मसल सेल्स नाउ यू सी दैट ऑक्सीजन वैन रीच इज टू द बॉडी सेल्स बट वी नो दैट ऑक्सीजन इज नॉट ट्रांसपोर्टेड थ्रू एनी बॉडी फ्लूड लाइक ब्लड इन केस ऑफ काक्रोच आर अदर सेक्स rather the oxygen directly entered through these spiracles and passing through through this uh, tracheal system is trachea and then fine uh, tubules uh, called tracheules which are ramified throughout the body cells oxygen when reaches to the uh, ends of these uh, uh, tracheules there is a fluid uh, for easy diffusion uh, for the oxygen into the uh, body cell but meanwhile when the carbon dioxide is produced uh, in the body cells uh, it is not passed through the same way it does not use the same route rather it uh, diffuses out through the general body surface of the cockroach but another thing important in the uh, respiratory system uh, of the cockroach is that uh, we uh, see that uh, oxygen directly uh, reaching to the uh, body cells not by means of transport medium there is no need of uh, transport system as in other animals we know that blood and blood has red color because of hemoglobin here there is no hemoglobin in cockroach or other insects because it's no needed for transport of oxygen how because oxygen directly reaches through the tracheal system to the cells hence there is no need of hemoglobin or no need of circulatory system for especially transport of gases oxygen and carbon dioxide so uh, that's why we see the tracheal system in a, a cockroach is a respiratory system and that's all about thank you very much